Hi friends, happy Friday. So the story I'm reading to you today is just a story that I absolutely love. We have read this in school, so I'm sure some of you remember it and know it. So let's get started. It is called The Very Noisy Night. And we see our little mouse here tucked in bed and he's gonna have a noisy night and something's gonna keep him up. This book is written by Diana Hendry and illustrated by Jane Chapman. Let's find out what noise is making it such a noisy night. It was the middle of the night and Big Mouse was fast asleep in his big bed. Little Mouse was wide awake in his little bed. Big Mouse, Big Mouse, called Little Mouse. I can hear something rushing around the house, huffing and puffing. So he hears a huffing and puffing noise. Big Mouse opened one eye and lifted one ear. It's only the wind, he said. Can I come into your bed, asked Little Mouse. No, said Big Mouse, there isn't room. And he turned over and went back to sleep. Little Mouse lay listening to the wind. Then suddenly, between a huff and a puff, came a tap, 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 tap. Little Mouse climbed out of bed, opened the front door, just a crack, and peeped out. So he hears a tapping noise, and he's going to go look to see what that is. Whoosh, went the wind, but there was no one outside. Big Mouse, Big Mouse, called Little Mouse. I can hear someone tapping. I think there's a burglar on the roof. So he hears a noise, but nobody's there. Big Mouse got out of bed and opened the bedroom curtains. So here we can see their curtains. He's opening and looking out the window. Look, he said, it's only a branch tapping on the window. So it's tapping on the window over here. And that's what's making that noise. Can I come into your bed? Asked Little Mouse. No, said Big Mouse. You wiggle. So he still can't go into Big Mouse's bed. Little Mouse lay in his own bed and listened to the wind huffing and puffing and the branch tap tapping and someone calling. Hoo, 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 hoo. Little Mouse climbed out of bed again. This time he looked under it. Then he looked in the wardrobe or a closet, which is right here. And feeling very frightened, he yelled, Big Mouse, Big Mouse, I think there's a ghost in the room and it's looking for someone. It keeps calling, hoo, 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 hoo. Big Mouse sighed, sat up and listened. It's only an owl, he said. It stays up all night like you. Can I come into your bed? Asked Little Mouse. Do you think he's going to let him in his bed? No, said Big Mouse. Your paws are always cold. Big Mouse pulled the blankets over his head and went back to sleep. And Little Mouse got back into his own bed. Mm, poor Little Mouse. Little Mouse sat up and listened to the wind huffing and puffing and the branch tap tapping and the owl hooting. But shh, what was that? Big Mouse, Big Mouse, he called. I think it's raining inside. And Little Mouse jumped off his bed and fetched his red umbrella. This is the word drip, drip. So he hears another noise. Big Mouse got out of bed too. He opened the front door to see if it was raining at all. Then Big Mouse went into the kitchen and turned off the dripping faucet. So the sink had water dripping from it and that was making the drip sound. He gently pried the umbrella out of Little Mouse's paws and put it away. Can I come into your bed? 
asked Little Mouse. No, you're nice and snug in your own bed, said Big Mouse, taking him back to the bedroom. So he still isn't able to go into Big Mouse's bed. Do you think he's going to hear another sound? Little Mouse lay and listened to the wind huffing and puffing, the branch tap tapping, and the owl hooting. And just as he began to feel very sleepy indeed, he heard, Wee, wee, wee! Big Mouse, Big Mouse, he called, you're snoring! So Big Mouse is fast asleep in his bed and he's snoring? Wearily, Big Mouse got up. He put his earmuffs on Little Mouse's ears. So these pink earmuffs, they block sound. He put a paper clip on his own nose and he went back to bed. So he's putting a paper clip to stop him from snoring. And he put earmuffs on Little Mouse to block out the noise. Little Mouse lay and listened to nothing. It was very, very, very quiet. He couldn't hear the wind huffing or the branch tapping or the owl hooting or Big Mouse snoring. So he can't hear anything with those earmuffs on. It was so quiet that Little Mouse felt he was all alone in the world. He took off the earmuffs. He got out of bed and pulled the paper clip off Big Mouse's nose. Big Mouse, Big Mouse, he cried. I'm lonely. So he felt all by himself, so now he feels lonely. Big Mouse flung back his blanket. Better come back into my bed, he said. So Little Mouse hopped in, and his paws were cold, and he needed just a little wiggle before he fell fast asleep. Big Mouse lay and listened to the wind huffing and puffing and the branch tap tapping and the owl hooting and Little Mouse snuffling and very soon he heard the birds waking up. So now nighttime is almost over and the birds are waking up. But neither of them heard the alarm clock because they were both fast asleep. They're both asleep. They had such a busy, busy night investigating all the noises that they heard. That now that it's time to wake up, the Little Mouse and Big Mouse are too tired and they sleep. They're finally sleeping. I hope you guys have a nice night. It's almost nighttime. It's almost bedtime for some of you. So I hope you guys have a nice night and an easy night sleeping, unlike Little Mouse. Miss you guys. Have a good weekend.